Kia ora Star Wars fans, welcome to Middle Age Kiwi Man Collecting Star Wars Figures. In this video I'm going to show you how I hang my ships from the ceiling, such as the shuttle behind me. Um, and thank you to MTB214 who suggested this video, so um, let's get on with it and I'll show you what I do to hang them up. So there you go, this is it, this is the secret, this is what I use. So this is fishing wire. And you can see there on the front that it says 50 yards, 15 pounds. I have absolutely no idea how old this um, reel of fishing line is. My dad gave it to me a long time ago, probably nearly 30 years ago, and it's still the same lot that I've been using all this time to hang up all of my ships. So what I'll do now is we'll go around some of the ships and just show you how it is hung up, and I'll show you the knot that I use to tie it. Here's the Tidarium shuttle, and it is quite a big vehicle, and you can see it is hanging up by just a single nail, and this is one very, very big piece of fishing wire that I have looped over. And here's how I do my TIE fighters, so this is the TIE interceptor enough light to see there but basically for the tie fighters I have two loops of fishing wire and one over each wing here's another view of that shuttle Tidarium and there's a first order tie fighter again with two loops of fishing wire the solo tie fighter that's a great tie fighter by the way and again you can see I've got two loops of the fishing wire and then I just have some nails in the beams which those are hanging off And the Nabu Starfighter. It's hanging off one nail there. You can see the fishing wire underneath there kind of crisscrossed over because that is actually two pieces of fishing wire, but this is because it's a different kind of a design, you just have to work out a way of hanging it. Here's my B Wing, and this is also just held up by one piece of fishing wire on one nail. It's kind of double looped around the cockpit there, one on either side, just to make it nice and stable. And here's my ARC-170, and believe it or not, that is also just held up by one piece of looped fishing wire, which I've looped over the wings a couple of times, you can see there. But yeah, the fishing wire works well because you can't really see it from a distance. And lastly, I'll show you the V-Wing. Again, just one loop of fishing wire. And then just got to work out the right way to wrap it around the wings so that you can be sure that it's not just going to fall off and it's going to be nice and stable and in the direction you want it to be. So basically I get this, I pull off as much as I think I'll need to make a nice uh, big loop, so a nice big string of it and then I use one of the fishing knots, I'll put that up on screen, basically you cut it with pliers, nice sharp pliers to cut the wire um, you get as much as you think you need. You need to have enough at each end to do the knot. As you can see it's quite a tricky knot and with this stuff it is pretty slippery in your hands it can be so it does often take a few goes to get the knot going properly. Um, yeah it can, be, it can be quite twisty and tricky and all the rest of it so it does take quite a bit of patience. I'm not going to do it for this video because it would end up being a 30 minute video of just frustration so but what I will do is I will show you the knot and um, yeah as I said this is such an old reel of fishing wire I'm sure you could just go down to the fishing store or wherever you get your fishing supplies and, and get newer stuff than this and it'll be absolutely fine and just uh, yeah I just recommend googling that knot and just giving it a go um, as I said, TIE Fighters are really easy, just need two kind of loops that are about the same size. Put one on each wing. Every now and then those TIE Fighters with a pop-off wing, sometimes the wing will pop off, but because you've got two loops, oftentimes it'll stay up there. And yeah, this stuff is really, really strong, as, as, as shown by the fact that my Tidarium shuttle is, is, has been put up with one big loop of this stuff, and it's gone nowhere. So, you know, that's a nice heavy ship. Anyway, as you can see there, I think the ships look really cool hanging down from the ceiling. 
and I think using the fishing wire is a good way to go. Thanks again to MTB214 for the suggestion for the video. If you made it this far, I'm a middle-aged Kiwi man collecting Star Wars figures. Thank you so much for watching. Kakite, and I'll see you on another video.